All right, turn in your Bibles to James chapter 2. <clears throat> you ever been given the gospel to someone like some whacked out Pentecostal? And uh, yeah, I see that hand. God bless you. And uh, they're trying to convince you that, you know, it requires more than faith alone to be saved, right? And so just, just this past last weekend, actually, I was, I was talking to a Reformed Baptist, a.k.a. Presbyterian, a.k.a. Calvinist, right? So I'm talking to this Reformed Baptist, and he says, uh, you know, yeah, obviously, you know, Calvinists like us, we believe it's just by faith alone. You know, it's, uh, we don't believe it's by works at all. Wow. And I say, okay, so do you have to repent of your sins in order to be saved? Of course you do. <laughs> so, you know, we go to John 3.10, and I show him those, those scriptures, and, and I said, well, let me ask you this. Do you believe you have to give your life to Christ in order to be saved? Oh, yeah, you have to give your life to Christ. And I said, well, I thought Christ gave his life for us. You know, I thought it was a free gift. And, and so we went back and forth and back and forth. And so <clears throat> this conversation, I'm sure it, you've had it before, but it always seems to end back up at James chapter 2, right? And the, the part I want to focus on tonight it's where they'll sometimes say, well, even the devils believe, right? So that's the title of my sermon tonight, The Devils Also Believe. The Devils Also Believe. Look at uh, James chapter 2, verse 18. Yea, a man may say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Now, we've done, you know, James chapter 2, over and over again in the church a lot of the pastors in our Baptist churches across the country have already nailed on that so obviously James chapter 2 is married with Romans chapter 4 that's the answer Romans 4 is the answer to James chapter 2 they're both talking about Abraham and his faith obviously God can only uh, God can is the only one that can see our heart he knows if we have faith and we trust in him for our salvation but man does not see what's inside of our heart so if we want to demonstrate our faith we can show our faith by our works to our fellow man that has nothing to do with salvation i'm really not focusing on verse 18 look at verse 19 thou believest that there is one god thou doest well the devils also believe and tremble you know so i get tired of people always saying that and throwing that into our face they don't realize that they're attacking the gospel itself. They don't realize that they're attacking Jesus Christ and, and they're making themselves an enemy of the kingdom of God. That's right. yeah. You know, so they say, well, even the devils believe. All right, so let me ask you this. Do you, you know, uh, how can I phrase this? Um, what color is the sky? What color is the grass? Do you have to have a lot of faith to believe that the sky is blue and the grass is green? No, you've already seen it. You don't need any faith at all. Zero, zilch, nada. You know you've witnessed it for yourself. Now think of a blind person, blind from birth. Yeah. Take someone that doesn't have any eyes. No light has ever came into their, to their vision. They have no idea what the sky looks like, what the grass looks like. But they know that the sky is blue and the grass is green. Why do they know that? because everybody else has always said it their entire life, and you'd have a hard time convincing them otherwise, even to someone that has no concept of color, right? So don't even get me started on that. Um, it's like for a blind person to comprehend colors, it's like us trying to comprehend what's heaven going to be like, you yeah. know, yes. how, how beautiful heaven must be. Amen? Yes. So uh, turn to Matthew chapter 8. So the devils, you know, they've been around. How long have the devils been around for? Since the beginning, you know. They've been around shortly thereafter creation. They've seen things that we can't even imagine. <clears throat> of course they believe that Jesus is the Son of God. They have zero faith. They don't require any faith to believe that. They've seen it with their own eyes. They've seen Jesus walking around in the Old Testament through history. They've seen exactly, look at Matthew chapter 8, verse 28. And when he was come to the other side into the country of the Gergesenes, there met him two possessed with devils, 
coming out of the tombs exceeding fierce, so that no man might pass by that way. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? Remember, the devils believe, and they what? Tremble. They tremble. They know what's coming. All right. Turn to Luke chapter 16. Um, we see here that the devils have a perfect understanding of who Christ is. Jesus didn't even walk up and speak to them. He had nothing to say to them. They came and approached him. They already knew. Yeah, they knew something. There's a similar passage in Mark chapter 1. You don't have to turn there. Mark chapter 1, verse 23 and 24 says, And there was a... And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. All right? And so the devils know exactly who Christ is, and it requires zero faith on their part. It's kind of like, you know, people say, well, you know, when the rapture takes place, all the Jews that don't believe in Christ are going to see him, and that's when they're going to believe. Wrong, 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 wrong. How are we saved in the first place? Faith. By our faith, right? We're yeah. saved by our faith. Once you see it, it's too late. That's right. That's why you see in Revelation the people that, that after all of God's wrath is continually poured out on, they still don't believe, they still don't repent. They're going to, you know, they're reprobate at that point in time. So getting back to the devils, <clears throat> they are not trusting Christ for their salvation. They're beyond the, the hope of that. Even if it was possible, it's, it's too late. The devils have been, you know, they're not cast into the lake of fire and the hell yet. Some of them are, some of them ain't. But, you know, they, they tremble at the thought. I believe there's actually reprobates walking around on the earth right now, and they tremble at the thought of their death. Because yeah. they know when they die, it's over. You know, can you imagine, you know, think about that pedophile Michael Jackson, you know, he, he was an insomniac. He couldn't sleep. They had to medicate him just so he could go to sleep at night. You know, he had no rest. He had to get medicated to rest. Now he has no rest forever. Yeah. Right? No rest. So think about Stephen Hawking, right? I call him Hot Wheels now. So um, Stephen, Stephen Hawking... He mocked God. He said the Bible is a fairy story, right? So Stephen Hawking, he now knows the truth. In fact, everybody in hell, they now know the truth. Right. It's too late. It's too late. You know, the Bible says in, in Hebrews 9.27, And it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. And so you're in Luke 16, right? I don't have enough time to read all this. Look at verse 27. This is the, the parable of the rich man and Lazarus. You know the story. I don't have to recap it to you. Verse 27, Then he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house, for I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went to them from the dead, they will repent. You know, not everybody that's in hell was a reprobate on this earth, right? The vast majority of the people burning in hell right now, they were good, decent people. You know, obviously there's none good but one. So they're, 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 just, they're there justly for their sins, right? But there are people right now that are praying to God saying, God, from hell they're saying, God, please send someone to my house. Talk to my wife. Tell them that I was an idiot, you know, that your husband didn't know what he was. Tell them where I'm at. And tell them, to, for my children's sake, let them understand, you know. So they're praying from hell for somebody to go and tell and warn. And, and it's our prayer as well. You know, so let's, let's you know, keep the, 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 the first things first. Let's never lose sight of our first love. And, um, oh, dear Calvinist, if you're out there listening, Drop that lordship salvation crap. This is, put your faith alone in Jesus Christ. You don't have to repent of your sins, which is a work according to Jonah 3.10. Yeah. And, and you don't have to give your life to Christ. He's already done that for us. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. Please bless the next preacher up. Amen.